Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in again. We're on six wins in a row at the minute. Feeling pretty good with that. We're going to re-roll A. We get Tainted Blue Baby. I don't mind a Tainted Blue Baby run every now and again. He can be a little bit of a poopy boy. A little bit of a poopy boy. But he's reasonably fun. And I think that he's he's not as hard as I always think that he is. Is probably the best way to describe it. I always overestimate how difficult he is, and that's not to say he's not difficult, I mean I'm probably going to get hit here, nope, I'm good. Uh, it's not to say he's not difficult, but I always overestimate his difficulty. Okay, Pop is an interesting one to start, like it's not a very good item, uh, we find a little poopy eyes look, but um, it does synergize into some interesting stuff, so that's good. Ooh, that was a, ooh, that was a rough hit, I got hit by a champion then. Getting hit by a champion on the first floor and losing an entire soul heart. Not what I would say is conducive to our success. Um, that's a bit of a big oof. God damn. Right, I'm trying to utilize all my poops as much as possible, but someone was actually saying in one of my recent episodes about... Um, interesting room. About uh, Tentable Baby being one of their favorite characters. I don't know many people that are like that. Um, it's kind of a rarity, but it's not exactly a bad thing. I think this character does have a lot of uniqueness about him. My main gripe with his uniqueness is he has a lot of it, but it gets, it thins very quick. I am playing like terror, like just terrible, terrible stuff. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's only a reroll machine even, so I can't even do anything with that. At least see, yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, I wanted to get try and get this card here, and I did manage to get it. Um, but my my basic problem with it, I wouldn't even say it's a huge problem. It's just that his gimmick thins out very quickly. Like once you get to like the third or fourth floor, his gimmick becomes a lot less prominent, just because you've normally got enough good items to not have to use it, or for it to not make sense. Also, getting a straight up damage up here and a soul heart, very very nice. We'll go down to the downpour. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. But yeah, um, I actually asked in a recent episode, I say recent, it'll probably be a week ago for you now, what a lot of people's favourite character, tainted character was. And a lot of people said tainted Maggie, because it was, it, was, it was a tainted Maggie episode. And I'd have to agree she's up there. Um, but I'd say, of, of the characters that aren't, like, that don't have obvious changes, I know a lot of them have been rebalanced and stuff now, but like... Other than the obvious, like, tainted Eden changes, like, not making his entire kit reroll when he gets hit, what what would be some unique changes you guys would make to some of the tainted characters to either make them better, more fun, more unique, more distinct? There's, there's a few tainted characters out there that don't really have enough to ma make them super unique, or, like, Tainted Blue Baby, where their gimmick kind of thins out later in the game and you don't really get as much out of it. Um, what are some of the um, what are some of the ideas that you guys have for uh, improving on? And even even for Tented Eden, what are some of the ideas you have for improving that character? Um, personally, I'd say that it should just not reroll all your items when you get hit. I think it'd be better if it just rerolled a portion of them, or like your your um, the sort of not the most recent, but like the last the last three in your stack sort of thing. So it doesn't, it doesn't completely change the entire course of your run, but it could quite easily stir up a storm. Oh, we ran out of flight. God. The, the, uh, the devil card isn't very good, is it? The reverse devil, that is. Do you know what? You're annoying me. Um, upon entering a room, each familiar has a chance to receive BFF buff. Ooh, that's actually potentially very useful. Of course, we need to get something that works alongside that, but I like the idea. Okay, I don't know where that money came from, but... Uh, I think we got it from one of the pots we destroyed. Uh, looks like we're not getting a key this floor, which would be a real shame. Um, we'll see if we end up getting anything from the boss, but you never... I'm gonna say you never really know with this game. Um, but yeah, that's, an that's another thing as well, like... How many of you out there are playing modded? How many of you are playing modded inspired by the, the mod pack that I am playing? Um, it'd be interesting to see how many people are sort of trying out the modded experience. I know there's a lot of you that watch out there that are playing on console, playing on Switch, that don't have the same opportunity to do so. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Like, uh, personally for me, one of the big things, one of the big sort of... Um, I wouldn't I call it changes, but one of sort of the big shake-ups of the game 
for me, really, is all the additional rooms. From the room mods that I've created for Rare Secret Rooms to the expanded floors to the uh, rooms galore. There's just a lot of good stuff in there. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to leave an item room, which, considering this is basically the only reason I went to this item room, it's kind of sucky. Um, although, saying that, I'm trying to suss out where Secret Room is. And I'm not sure. I... It genuinely could be next to the thingy room. So let's, uh, let's do this. Yeah, that, that unfortunately did not work. I thought it might be there, but apparently not. Okay, uh, I guess we're leaving then. That's a real shame to have to leave an item room like that. That doesn't happen often in this game, but when it does, it, it kind of it's kind of hits a sore spot, doesn't it? But we've we've got okay health and everything. We're obviously not going to go to the devil deal here, um, so we're sitting kind of pretty. But yeah, for me, it's always been the room mods. I think I think room mods, they're one of those things where, for one, room mods are a big integral thing of any any pack that adds new enemies because you need. Um, new rooms for them to go into, but also just like vanilla rooms as well. Like one of the sort of biggest things with any roguelike, especially something like um, Binding of Isaac Enter the Gungeon, the, the longer you play it, especially once you get into the sort of 800 plus hour mark, which a lot of people that play the Binding of Isaac are at, um, you get to the point where you basically have seen every room that exists and you can very much... I wouldn't say predict, but it makes a lot of rooms much, much easier. Whereas with plus, I think I've got like, my God, I think I've got like an additional like three or 4,000 rooms, to be honest. It's it's an insane amount. Um, I'll be taking that. Thank you. Can't remember what this does. Um, yeah, uh, it just, it means that not every room you go into, you've actually been into before. Uh, has a 50% chance to duplicate everything in the room just like Crooked Penny. However, unlike Crooked Penny, these new pickups won't have the same subtype, meaning that pickups would spawn in another random pickup. Um, the other 50% chance destroys all items in the room um, and makes the player take damage instead of duplicating. So basically, it's a lower tier Crooked Penny by the sounds of it. It's like a, it's like a not good Crooked Penny. Uh, I will try it though. We got... Do we want to take Alabaster Box? That's a real, that's a real risky grab right there. Um, I didn't know that holding a poop like that would do that. It's gonna hurt. Oh, yep. Yeah. God damn it. Okay, so I think we take the stopwatch. I'm almost certain that right now popping the lovers will kill us because we only have two soul hearts and it does take away soul heart health. So. Let's not play into that for now, and we'll we'll try that a little later. We'll see how it goes. Charged key. I, I probably will stay away from using my dime. I'll be honest. Alabaster box there is um is an intriguing. Why did I do that? I for some reason thought it would like protect me somehow. Clearly not how this works. Clearly not how this works. But yeah, all the new enemies are, are also like a really fun thing, fun addition. Ooh, I'm yeah, I'm gonna seriously need some more health before I pop my lovers there. I do want to pop it though. Um, t taking a broken heart would be fine by me, but I don't want to die in the process. I'll assure you of that. God damn it, I am scared. <laughs> I'll just say that I am scared. Oh, that was close. I tried my best. That was good though. We got a a nice one in there. Hey, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. I right, pop that down. Oh god, that was close. Okay, he's coming out the wall now. I think. Yeah, there you go. We'll fire on him just to get him out the way. Okay, okay, we got him. Tricky. Okay, here's our soul heart. Good. Right. Let's see if we can get into a secret room here. Um, won't be there, of course. Hmm, not quite sure where it'd be right now. It very easily could be next to our shop. Let's ch check out this room here, and we'll uh, we'll see, won't we? Yeah, it, v it very much is here. I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, but well, this run's actually going pretty well so far. Pop that open. Three pills. Let's first of all use this. Indeed, it did lower us to one soul heart, which is definitely risky, but it does mean that we can take these pills a little more safely. Um, this is intriguing. Not what I was expecting to see here, but I'll take it. I don't really know how valuable uh, extra shot speed is with pop. Um, or how much we're going to get to actually utilize the damage it gives us. But let's just take it in its stride and say, how do you do? Okay, that was necessary. Okay, this is just to get rid of these fellas. Oh, that didn't work. It he did sit on the fire, but it did not work the way I wanted it to. It's okay, though. We got him. Had to use a lot of our poops there, but we got him. Yeah, we got an extra item out of a telepills there, which is pretty good. Wasn't expecting that. Hey, some enemies from uh, from the Ipecac mod there. Some of the rooms I created. Always nice to see those. I think those enemies fit in very well. Even though they're quite weak enemies, their, uh, their visual and their style is just very on point. Right. I think we should take the other pills, because we're at low enough health that it shouldn't matter. Oh, hello. Laxative. Bit of corn shots there. And I think we're good to go. Very, very risky run at this moment in time. We definitely don't want to be using our thingy. We definitely can't take Alabaster Box either. We'd be stuck at half a... We'd be stuck at one Soul Heart for a long time. Which is a shame, because I do love Alabaster Box. I think it's a very, very fun, unique item. Um... Especially for a shop item as well. I think it's I think it fits into the game very, very well. But it's another one that we can't really take. I am very happy about our massive influx in luck, by the way. I know that luck isn't exactly the, the most precious thing in the world when it comes to uh, secret room items. But I'd say that it's reasonably good. It flies. There's, a, there's an enemy right there. There you go. You've caught on. You've caught on pretty quick. Uh, justice. This could give us a soul heart. Unfortunately not. Gotta remember, walking into Red Hearts gives us dips. I completely forgot about that for a moment. Ooh, wait, as well. That, that dip's been BFF'd by our trinket. Okay, this is a good synergy. Um, that dip is a little bit bigger, because when we walk into a room, 50% chance to get BFF. Pretty good. Uh, we've also got this here, too. Okay, Squeezy is a must-take. Like, even if we get hit in this room now, we should be... Sitting a bit more pretty. In fact, we can take both of them. And the pork chop gives us HP too, so this is really good. And this is get these guys will drop a soul heart, right? Yes, they will. Wow, that was good. Although we just got the worst boss possible here. I don't know why I put that stone poop down. It's a terrible idea. Trying to stay in the poop slick as much as I can here. That's actually worked out really, really well. And then we get this, which is going to give us another HP up. Okay, that room alone has put our health in a way more manageable position. Way more manageable. So you'll see, both dips are small, but keep an eye on them. They're going to grow. Like, there you go. Look, one of them grew up. One of them got BFF'd. That's a very, very unique trinket. I like it. I say unique. It's not unique in its effect, but I like the, the sort of idea of how unique it is. So we can pop this. This is going to give us more dips. I can pop Justice, that's going to give us even more dips. And then we'll take the Soul of the Forgotten, just because if we find a sack room, we can probably get up to six... Wait, well, we can get for t at least a six players for free with it. Which is always nice. Keep it going. We're having a pretty okay run here. Our stats are very good uh, for where we are in the game. Our health just kind of skyrocketed. It would have been actually nice to have been holding Alabaster Box, because I think... I think we'd be one soul out of filling it right now. We just got a ball of steel. There you go. We'd have filled it. That's a shame. But at the same time, sitting at just one soul heart going to the next floor is not a risk I'm willing to take. Very much not a risk I'm willing to take. I'm liking pop right now. Pop's kind of interesting. Um, at the beginning of every floor, get 10% damage. Um, we had that before. It can get a bit janky, so let's not take that for now. I'm, I'm actually quite liking the uh, the trinket we've got here. Um, 
just because we have extra luck, I'm thinking if we can manage to get Mum's key, that would be pretty valuable for us. Of course, we didn't end up getting the dime out of that dude, so we'll keep we'll keep pushing forward. I'm liking that we're getting to use a lot of the boss trap rooms, though, here. This is nice. Grab you. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't just pop the lover's card like an idiot. I probably should have left that chest, actually, thinking about it for uh, Mum's key. Extinguisher. Do you have a rainbow poop here? I don't think that does much for us, though. Um, am I willing to trade some HP? I think, I think we, first of all, we do that. Okay, we didn't get any money from that. It's a shame. So we need to lose two soul hearts to get it. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Just because we're going to be getting a lot more chests due to the high amount of luck that we currently have. 7.77 7 is nothing to turn our nose up at. And that is a lot of health to lose, but you got to remember, we just got a balls of steel pill. That means we know it's in rotation. Um, and we know we're probably going to get another one at some point. And our health is already pretty good. We wouldn't have had that much health having not found the, the uh, balls of steel pill anyways. So we're not losing that. What the fuck just happened? Blue Baby did an absolute mega fart then. I don't know what caused that. Was that just like sheer chance? Or like what the fuck happened? I don't even know. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, so we got a lot of poop slick going on here. This enemy can, uh, hecking heck off. But there you go. Look, another chest. And then we're going to get more out of these, which is great. Look, Penny. That's even more coming our way. I think that's pretty incredible. Right. Get these flies going. Yeah, I don't know how valuable the little farts are going to be, but it's at least on brand. It's very on brand for a character. That is a very, very good trinket. Yeah, I, I'm so I love that other trinket, but that is a very good trinket. Picking up money. Oh, planetarium. What the hell? We're oh, we skipped an item room, didn't we? Okay, a nice one. I was not expecting this. I hadn't been paying attention to my planetarium chance. We got ma. Uh, unfortunately, we've actually kind of got. Semi crap items here. I am going to gamble and use my coin because if it doubles, I'll get two different items. If it doesn't, I don't care. Yes. <laughs> and now I can take soul as well. Wait, I can take them all. I guess we just keep going then, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just try and duplicate again, right? If I can get a charge. Boom. We'll at least take it for the, uh... Oh, look, it said bombs. We don't get bombs for that. Shame. That's a big shame. Yeah, Soul isn't the best, but... Neptunus is pretty good. A lot of rainbow poops about right now. Not quite sure what that's about. Right. Actually, we do have a nickel over here, don't we? That we can, uh... Pop. There's a wisp as well. Okay. Do we have any ways of getting this thing charged up? We might not, which is fine. We do have a battery charge here. Okay. I've got to do it, just because you can do it again. I didn't think I'd... I thought the items would disappear, but that's not how planetariums work, clearly. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep, I don't know why, but, no way. Terror. Boulders will randomly fall onto enemies, um, dealing 3.5 damage. Ancient Fragment will now have 25% chance of replacing other consumables. We'll buff boulders while nerfing your character. We'll take it, we'll try it out. And then, I feel like I've got to, I've got to hold on in case we can get another charge somehow. 
But yeah, now we got Terra as well. This is um, it's been pretty cool. We got four planetarium items this floor. It's a shame I didn't find that earlier, to be honest. Uh, secret room. It's there's a quite a few possible locations, to be honest. I'm gonna guess here though. We could smell our trinket. For one soul heart, I'm gonna say yes. Because that trinket is so good, and that other one is also pretty good. Grab that. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for, to, to do my boss, see if there's some way I can get another charge. I doubt it, though. If not, we'll go and pick up Mars. And then we'll have got five planetarium items in a single floor. That is, um... That is kind of crazy. See, I don't know whether to actually end up taking... Oh, that was stupid. To actually end up taking any of the uh, the, the rock fragment things and using them. That's a sun card. Pretty decent item here. And there's that angel deal as well. That's very, very good. Um... Where are we going again? Okay, blue baby to blue baby. That's fine. It, we, we, we charged up our active. Okay, soul. Soul charged our active. I didn't know that happened. Right. Back we go. If we get it again, this might be the best thing ever. <laughs> I don't think I'll have ever had... I don't think I'll have ever seen anyone have as many planetarium items. No fucking way. Just fucking cleaning out the... Oh, my God. Right, give me Mars as well. Oh, my God. Right, I've got to post a screenshot of this. Just a, just a hot minute, because this is genuinely incredible. I, I, I can't... I can't fathom. I can't fathom. Holy fuck. My God. Holy shit. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planetary mounts. There's only 11 in the base game pool. <laughs> We've almost got them all. I think there's like three additional planetary items added by mods. Maybe four. Well. How the fuck am I going to thumbnail this one? Although, my background for my thumbnails from the modded series is planetariums, so... So Molten Coin is, is better than I thought it'd be. Ah, having Terra here is very nice. <laughs> let's just hold, let's hold the, let's hold the crack key for now because we might get a Crimson Chest. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever had Terra plus Uranus before either. It's a great combo. Beautiful. One thing we do need is a base fire rate and damage upgrade. Uh, damage isn't as bad because our damage is actually pretty good. It, it's more fire rate than anything. Because uh, Neptunus is giving us good fire rate, but it's not exactly what we need. We're going to be getting so much good stuff out of um, our picking up coins. All these wispy boys. And the chests as well are going to be giving us so many coins. Holy shit, it spawns wisps like crazy. Oh my god. Well, you fuck off. <laughs> you get out my way. You've got no business being in my space. Oh my god. This is nuts. This... Okay, so I keep saying this. It keeps happening, but this genuinely might be the best run I've ever had. Just purely based on the sheer look. We hit three 50-50s in a row. Three 50-50s in a row. Which led to us getting seven planetarium items. That's absurd. Holy Liberty Fleff. And the fucking rocks that drop from the sky adopt our tear effect? Hell yeah. 
Or at least they froze that enemy. Celtic Cross is good with me. I will take it. But we've now got to the point where we've transcended the usefulness of poops. Um, Map, then Red Rune. Just to have the fly. And then we can go back and get our cracked key wherever that was. I thought I was holding the cracked key, to be honest. I think I was accidentally holding the Red Rune. That's fine. Honestly, you hit me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you think I care? Good, good. Right, check of these rooms back here. We've not checked any of these yet. Some, one of them could be a sack room. We've got that uh, soul we've forgotten there. Soul heart. That's good. Let's just keep moving on. Oh, my God. I think I'll uh, go in here. Unfortunately, not great, uh, I'll be honest. It's a lot of leechy boys. Ooh, the leechy boys get real laggy sometimes. Strange room. Okay. Just a bit of Duke of Flies. One, one thing I've got to say about the, um, the modded um, thingy item that we've got. Modded planetarium item. Um... The sound effect of the rock hitting the floor is, like, really bad quality for some reason. It's really strange. It sounds really off. Oh, you're eating off all my wisps, aren't you, shitbag? Stop it. I don't know what's happening with our fly. He keeps getting stuck on the wall. Our oh, locust here. Right. Hey, it's Loki. Ooh, this is a hard Loki fight. Like, not for us, but generally. There's that. Gimme, gimme. Hey, and we get two sturdy poops as well. Keep her going. Let's keep her going. This is the flagship planetarium run. Has, has, li I, I know that this is a modded run, so it does have a bit of quirks to it. But has anyone out there had seven planetarium items on a legit run that wasn't like a, a game break? That wasn't like cycling through the pools. I, I genuinely don't think so. This is just obscene. Bloody gust, I guess. Don't really need it, but I'll take it. I'm like able to destroy all these rocks. Tell you that for sure. Another rainbow heart. Wow, that's, that's rare to get two on one floor. And in fact, oh uh, wait, I was just about to say, in fact, we've got a blood donation machine, but we don't have red hearts, so ignore me. Oh, I forgot we had Mars. <laughs> we just dashed for a moment there, and I was like, oh. For some reason, the Neptunus bar never fills all the way up. I don't know what that's about. Good, good. Give me some poops. That, in my opinion, that should never be able to happen. You should never be able to get a red rune and a cracked key from one player. That's just silly. Does mean I can use one of my cracked keys, though. And there you go. That's how we do it. Remember, if it's a bad item, we dime it. It's not a bad item, but I have to say it's not an item I'm super engaged with. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna say I like the dime. I'm gonna stick with the dime. It's it, it's it's got more potential than I ever thought it could have. I realize I could have uh, I could have sucked it up with the red rune, but I had to gamble. You know me. I can't handle a bit of gam. I can't handle 
the temptation of gambling. Why I'll never step foot in a casino, because I will go bankrupt instantly. Oh, I love all the sound effects of everything freezing and the rocks hitting things. Oopsie. Um, do we have the ability to bomb this? I think we do. There you go. Straight up in a, um, a heart container there. Silly. Just silly. Not much we need in here, is there? Right. Back through we go. God damn. This is just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. The most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I mean, we could just be bombing our way, like, shooting our way through all the doors if we wanted to as well, but this run's too enjoyable to do that. Um... Battery lad is kind of interesting, but not really what we need right now. Let's keep rolling. We may as well buy the soul heart, actually. BFF is fantastic. And remember, the trinket said it stacks with BFF, which is kind of nuts. This is converts pickups into burn orbitals. Interesting, but not super useful for us right now. Spawns uh, an item from the room's pool for sale. Its price will change roughly five times a second. The price is random. Spawns an item from the room's pool for sale, but generally increases over time until it reaches 99. If you leave and re-enter the room, the item disappears. That does sound intriguing. I know that I was going to say I was going to stick with my nickel, but I'm going to I'm going to try this out. We're getting a lot of money that we, we're we're going to be unable to use pretty soon. Be able to get secret room items at a discount could be kind of interesting. Right. We're getting so much money from all the chests we're, we're creating. From our luck. This is Dank Depths 2. We've been to every, every area we can go. Beautiful. We're taking the Polaroid here as well. I mean, we might as well check this at this point. And check it we will, because I'm going to get that. Ah! For some reason, I thought it would be, um... I thought it would be, like, a cycling item with a cycling price. And it, each item would have a different price, rather than one item having a cycling price. That still works fine for me. Uh, once we once we get up into like the 30, 40 cent, we'll start spawning stuff. Oh shit. I was like, what the hell's this room still on? No, it's just one of those, it's behind. He couldn't be hit because of the ice. But look at these BFF boys. They're huge. I think our wisps are BFF as well, they look bigger. Golden troll bomb, hello. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Not seen a crimson chest yet. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give some money to believe in. I'm loving our big, big boys. Some of them have been double buffed. Look how huge they are. It's beautiful. So much money. Finally got a sack room. Well, at least open up these. Grab some more money. Okay, we're up to 30 cent now, so let's, uh... Let's get rarid up to spawn an item. We need to find a secret room first, really. That'd be preferable. I thought it might be there. I wasn't sure. I'll be honest, that was kind of just a cop-out. Right, I think the red ones disappear when you kill everything, so let's just try and do that. There's the secret room. There you go. I, what am I doing using bombs? I have terror. I'm dumb. 
Ah, uh, sadly not an item we really care about. Sadly not something that we really want. But yeah, essentially if we buy it instantly, it's going to be, like, not cheap, but it's going to be fairly cheap. Let's just keep going, try and charge this up again. Might be able to get another charge on the mallet before we leave. Especially when rooms are this easy. <laughs> keep opening chests, though. We want as much, see what I mean, want as much money as possible. And a luck penny as well to add to it. Hell yeah. Right, back we go. Two more rooms. We can get another gavel going. Just gotta remember if we leave the room and re-enter, it'll disappear. Anything that lets you spawn additional items is always gonna be something that I love. Ech. Not my style. Not my style. Do not need that. We're going to do this room for some extra charges in here as well, actually. I mean, holy fuck, I didn't realise those chests would pay out double from um, Mum's Key, but they do. They most certainly do. I'm not taking any of the fragments, I'll be honest, because my character is strong enough as it is, and I like it that way. We got a Soul of Cain. I kind of think we just use it in here. Soul of Cain. See what's what in here. Oh, there's a chat. Damn it. I picked up the charge key I shouldn't have. That was a mistake. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry, fragments. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fair enough. That's not it's not amazing, but it's it's decent. We'll skip to the next floor now. Let's go. There's that secret room too. Nah. Bomb beggar won't take my poopies. Oh, there's so many we've got so many fucking um poops following us. The stone ones are still alive from the burn heart as well. Oh, wait, that ch I, I keep forgetting that charges our item. That charges our item. We've got another go at it. Yep, room bag's pretty great. I always forget that. Soul, Soul, I've underestimated you. Perthro and Yera. Um... Yera, because we're going to the chest, I guess. It's pretty good. Probably should have used that crack before leaving, but oh well. We don't exactly need it. We'll get another one this floor anyways. There's the fucking ten a penny over here. They're everywhere. Oh, I love freezing those enemies. En enemies in which you would normally have to, like, um, wait for them to die. Just freezing them, be like, nah. I don't, I don't wait for no man. Mars, why you keep screwing me? hagen I, th I don't think we really need hagen when we've got Terra. We should also be rapidly shooting every wall we see because we don't have mapping. Maybe I'll uh, I'll retrace my steps and do some of that. Just in case. There you go. We should have enough money to buy whatever it gives us here. It just gave us another t another hammer. <laughs> Oh, a charge beggar. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think we need to play him yet. I think he's kind of a last resort sort of dude. Because the thing is, we want the money, right? Okay, we do need a bomb for this. That's a lot of money. And poopies. 
Lots of money and poopies. Okay, so we at least know where a secret room is now. We can start uh, messing around a little more. Finding one early is really good because now we can like maximize the amount of charges we uh, get out of this floor. More money. Oh, God. That's a lot of spoders. That's a lot of spoders. I'm really liking Venus as well. Venus is helping out a ton. Basically just negates contact damage altogether. Okay, um, I need to go boom, then Q, boom, do that, push that back into the gas, and then go boom. You see? Well, it all worked out. Okay, rocks are falling, more money, another luck upgrade, holy shit, we're going to get a lot of chests. And we go back for our secret room now. Which I can't quite remember where it is. It's like this way and up, maybe? Yeah, okay. Terrible. Terrible. How could you do that to me? How could you betray me that way? Keybeg is such a troll item to put in the uh, in the, <laughs> the secret room pool. Like, he does technically fit because you do find key beggars in there, but my god. It's like, why? Just, you know what you did there. You know the sins that you put upon this world. You know the evil you've unfolded. Balls of steel. Not that we needed it, but there you go. And there's another secret room, so we don't have to go traipsing all the way back. Nice. Ow. Right. Pennies. Pennies, pennies, pennies. I'll buy that. Good enough. Right. Take care of all of that. That is a sharp chest. <laughs> I don't know why I called it that, but that's what it is now. Alright, let's fight, Mum. Mother the tyrant. I'm going to probably lose a lot of my wisps here, but I don't too much care. I gain them quite, quite quickly. Oh, that charged my item as well. Hell yeah, I forgot once again that it's going to charge my item. Um, nah, it's good, but I wanna, I wanna try and get a bit more value out of my money and play the, play the beggar a bit more. Right, let's keep her going. I think Room Bag and Sack of Sacks actually do get affected by uh, BFF, by the way. So that's a nice little get for us. I've actually got some additional rooms here I never saw. I didn't even realize. Actually. Okay. Another Soul of Cain. This is a decent one because it's going to give us a good amount of charges and opportunity. So one, we got a shop with Jesus juice in it. Pretty good. Yes. I was debating whether to buy it or not. I think it is worth it. Jesus juice is pretty good. Okay. One last room. Didn't think we'd get the ultra, I'd be honest, so... I'm not that miffed about that.
Right. There we go. Back up to 42 cent as well. And we can play this guy a little bit to try and get some charges. Oh, Mars. Stop. You're going to be annoying as hell, aren't you? I'm going to play this guy real slowly so Mars doesn't fuck me over. Nah, it's a space bar item. I'm sorry. Don't have time to read things. Yo, this guy's just going to pay out immediately and fuck off, isn't he? If you give us that actual battery, that helps. Cracked Orb. I'm guessing I'm taking Cracked Orb. It just wants me to have it. I'm just going to see if I can get a battery-based item off of this guy on the next floor. Come on. Nope. Out we go. Bit of a shame, but apparently the game needed me to take Cracked Orb. Kind of a shame, really. So I guess I'm having it. <clears throat> Ooh, one minute. One minute. One minute. Algiz. Pretty good. We got blood bag out of that. Not really what I was fishing for, but I'll take it. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, to the next floor. We can play this whole game again on the next floor as well and try and do, do a similar thing. So hopefully we can get it to work a bit better. Uh, we're going to go up with our Polaroid. Boom, 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 boom. King of Spades. No, thank you. Ooh, also, we should be heavily looking for secret rooms. There you go. It's a good secret room to get as well, actually. Give us Steam Sale. No Steam Sale, but a lot of money. I'm going to take that and we'll play out the rest of this floor. Just because I think that'll be better for the next floor. That's kind of one of those items that allowing us to reroll quite a lot of chests and stuff is going to be pretty good. Especially the Yero chests at the start. We're going to get eight items that we can keep rerolling. I realize we could fish for like... The R key or something, but you got to remember, R key always costs 99 no matter what. So we'd have to really save up and bank on it being the R key for that, to, for that to come to fruition, which I don't really think is something we can do. Like, it's plausible, but it's, it's not reliable. It's annoying to not have a map yet again. I wonder how many rooms I've got left, how many rooms I've done. Oh, we finally got a crimson chest. A little bit late, but... Whatever. We need a little more money before we, uh, before we pop this again. That's another crimson chest. Don't have any cracked keys, so it's good. Okay, 21 cent is almost enough. We do have a sack there as well. Hero font's nice. God damn it. Two crimson chests, really. I love the music in this floor. We got a library in here, what the hell? I was not expecting that. We should kind of have the dime here. It's pretty good in this room. I wish I had the black rune, actually, from the last floor. That would have been really good. That's a secret room. Don't think we've been this way yet. No, we have not. Okay, one more one more chest of money. Or one more bit of money, I'd say. There you go. And then we'll go pop it again. 
I'm trying to get one more pop out of it before the end of this floor as well. That's, that's kind of good, but not what we're looking for. Trying to set into Temper Tantrum on taking damage is kind of like... It's good, but we're not taking a lot of damage right now. Our, our suite of Wisps is uh, keeping us nice and safe. Yeah, whoever makes this Wisp Trinket, recommend quite heavily lowering, lowering the chance to get a Wisp on uh, on killing an enemy. Oh, I'm picking up a coin, sorry, because it's, it's kind of nuts. What the fuck? We went so long without seeing any Crimson Chests, and now it's like, hey, this is all that exists. This better not happen when we get to the next floor. Better not, like, jack up all my fucking items by giving me a bunch of shitty fucking Crimson Chests that I can't open. Evil game. Right. Eh, terrible item. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. And a soul of Apollyon as well. Good, good. What? That bomb just sailed past that. Hey, we've got a damage up. Nice. My double BFF boys. Go. Wow. Annihilated that. Absolutely annihilated it. Right. Do we have a few rooms left this way? I think we do, don't we? Yeah. We do. Come on, you. Don't be a dick. This enemy's just... Ugh. Ugh. Right. Another opportunity for a good item. It's like our last opportunity, I think. Yes. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I haven't had big epic feet in a long time. I wonder how this works with like terror and stuff. I don't really think about that. Yep. Well, I was gonna say, I was just about to say it destroys rocks anyways, doesn't it? So it doesn't really do anything with terror. It does freeze enemies though. Yeah, I haven't had this item in a while, so I'm happy to have it. Happy to have it. We got another Yera. Games just be mean at this point. I'd love to be able to carry both of these. Right. Now we go and grab our D Infinity. And we move on. You've you've done me well, Mallet. You've done me well. I'll be watching out for you in the future. This run was especially like good for it, just because we had the insane ability to just produce like crazy amounts of money. Most runs would not get anywhere near close to as powerful as this did. But still. I wonder why we fired two rockets the other time. Maybe that was something to do with Neptunus. I have to admit, Epic Fetus was maybe not the best pickup just because it's like not the most synergistic thing in the world. But I still, it's an item that I don't get often. It makes me excited to see it when I do. I should have remembered we had the extra charge from that, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I'm, I gotta say, it makes me excited to see it when I do, so I, I, I always pick it up in the secret room because it's just, it's, it, it is a fun item. Right, Yera. Boom, 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 boom. Right, we'll take that. I don't know how this will work, but I'm going to take it anyways. Um, we'll, we'll take that as well. And the rest of these we will re-roll. Nothing good so far. <laughs> oh, it, it very much does work. I don't know how. I don't know what happened with that there. 
Wafer, pretty good. We were like firing tears out of our epic beaters every now and again. I don't know why. I can accept it. I can get behind it. Like you see those little pop tears that are appearing out of nowhere? I don't know where they're coming from, but so I'm happy to have them. I mean, this run is completely won anyways, so I do want to try something. Let me just, um, yeah, let's just grab you. Let me just go and, ooh, some stuff going on in there. Remove Epic Fetus. And just see what it's like without Epic Fetus here. Just with the, with the, the tech zaps. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I think it's better without Epic Fetus, I'll be honest. Oh my god, I forgot about this item. It's okay, you're dead to all the lasers. Tech Alpha's insane. Right, back we go. Back we go. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give that re-roll. Okay, we got Halo Flies, Nod Leaf, Thick Bones, Nerve Pinch, shooting or moving for 8 seconds to trigger a Nerve Pinch, you take fake damage and gain a permanent 0 0.03 speed down when this happens, however, there's a 75% chance to activate your active item for free, even if it's uncharged. One time use and infinite use actives cannot be used that way. It sounds interesting. I don't actually think it's that good. Oh, I, okay. I've, I've, I've only just understood what's happening here. So we've got this weird infinite, infinite combo going on where a tear shoots a laser when it's in mid-flight. Because we have pop, they stay in flight for longer, which means they fire lasers for longer. But also, because we have pop, when we fire a tear, and that tier fires a laser, that laser creates a pop tier. So it kind of creates this infinite cycle as long as there's enemies in the room. Which is why we're seeing the room fill up so quickly with these blue versions of the tier. Because they're ones created by the laser. And it just keeps going and going and going. That's pretty cool. Nice little infinite combo going on here. What up, Dead Long Legs? Chill out, man. Sibling rivalry is pretty good. Go back and do another reroll. I know we're nearing the end of the run, so we don't really need to do this, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, clicker. Oh, thank you. Wait, what? Oh, it fucking... It fucking decharged my active because I picked up the clicker. Such an annoying bug with the D-Infinity. It's fine. Crimson chest again. I knew this would screw me. I knew this would come back to bite me in the ass. Don't know why they're still spawning if I don't have the keys. They shouldn't be spawning anymore. If I'm literally completely unable to open them. Look at that. Just this infinite cycle. Isaac's Jar of Tears, lovely. Right, don't run into the clicker this time. Don't run into the clicker this time. It's simple enough. And then we go... Boom. Chili. Money equals power. This bitch. Okay. And we keep moving. Oh, that's a lot of fire. That's a lot of... Well, I suppose we have 11.77 luck. So it makes all the sense. It's all a fire. 
I just didn't think about it. I love those resprites of the fly items. So good. Right, dude, you're gonna burn up. That's pretty nice, thank you. I can't believe I installed a new mod that I want to show you guys in this episode. Oh, Jacob's Ladder. I've not had the opportunity to show you it at all. It's not showing up at all, but I guess we'll see it next episode, maybe. We'll see. It's a resprite mod that's pretty pretty cool. Dad's luck. Plus five luck, oh my god. That looks crazy. Okay, sir. You are uh, officially deaded. Are we going to get the void chance? We did. And we take it. We take those. We most certainly take those. And I do not care if we... Um, if we find Delirium straight away, either. We're just going to go for it. This would this is where it would have been better to keep the hammer. Soul of Lilith. Oh, hello. Soul of Lilith. Little Steven. You know what? Let's pop this, see where it takes us. Beautiful. Oh my god, what is going on right now? <laughs> Yep, fire it up. It doesn't do anything. Why would it? I don't know how far away we are from where we just were. The fires can freeze enemies. I kind of love that. Calm down, you big fat boy. That guy's got a lot of health. Whoa! That boy's chunky. That boy do be chunking. Hold up, blow Blow up my gut. Just some HP. We have flight. I can't remember where we got flight from. Seraphim, I think. Should barely be using the Ancient Fragments at this point, but my stats are just too integral to this. Here he is. Here he is. So, you gotta remember, we're gonna go infinite here. This might crash. Because our tiers are, are most likely just gonna go infinite as long as they're near him. Um, which is just gonna cause a lot of lag. It's gonna be fun, though. Oh, I hit myself with my own poop there. That was stupid. Look at that. Like, you can just see the tiers popping off. Literally, pop. But look at it. The laser creates another pop tier, which creates another laser, which creates another pop tier, which creates another laser, which creates another pop tier. It's not quite infinite, but it's pretty close. God damn, the fires stick around for so long as well. You think you're big, Mum, don't you? You think you're big. Right, boy time for you to go down. You change to this form. You realize you fucked up right. <laughs> oh, incredible delirium destruction. You gotta love it. There you go. He is Dunzo. Wait, what? No. Dunzo. There you go. Pretty easy delirium fight there. Seven planetarium items, you know, just one of the coolest runs I've ever had. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that. That was an absolute blast, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.